Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 30, One Step Problems in the Real World. So up until now we were in an imaginary world, so it's now real. Alright, so opening exercise, we're going to do some review. Draw an example of each term and write a brief description. And if you've ever seen the word acute, then you would know that it was... what I am creating here. So I just drew a ray, and then I rotate my triangle or my ruler. This says 38 degrees. I'm okay with that. Draw a line there, move my ruler down for the next part, and I go like this. Because an acute angle is an angle, an angle that is less than 90 degrees. Okay, an angle less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle, okay. Now we're going to do an obtuse angle, so let me move my ruler up here, slide it back down to zero degrees on the level. Okay, now I'm going to start at zero and I'm going to draw out here. And now I'm going to rotate it. But I'm going to go beyond 90. So here's 90. So it's not acute. Acute is here. Go more. So as long as I'm more than 90 but less than 180 degrees, that is an obtuse angle. Okay, so that was 127, so there's my line. So if I drew this like so, then I would now say... Okay, so an angle that is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Okay, so moving along, now we have straight, a straight angle. I'm going to bring this down to zero, and I'm going to draw a line with my ruler and put this like this. So if I had a point here, this is a straight angle, okay? Okay, an angle that is exactly 180 degrees. Now I skipped right, so let me go back up here and make it right. Ah, I get it. All right, so now I'm going to draw a right angle. So there's one, a right angle. If I rotate this up to 90 and go like so, move this out of the way. And if I indicate this is a right angle, we always use a square in the corner here to say that it's a right angle. And that is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, so there we go. An angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, moving along. Reflex. Reflex. That's when you get hit in the knee and your foot pops up, right? Now, hang on one second and I will draw a reflex. So let me get my ruler because I'm on a page. Reflex would be like so. And I draw this, and you're probably thinking, but wait a minute, that's an acute angle, but I'm not done. So if I now show you that this is the arc, or the, yeah, the arc, the angle measure here. So this is not the inside of the angle. This is, so we took an angle, and we just twisted it all the way around. We went beyond 180 degrees. So a reflex is between 180 and 360 degrees. Okay, so it's an angle that is between 180 and 360 degrees. So now we're going on. In example one, it says angle ABC measures 90 degrees. Okay, so this is angle ABC right here. Let me actually outline it in red so we know that that whole thing is 90 degrees. The angle between the separated, the angle has been separated into two angles. If one angle measures 57 as it's here, what is the measure of the other angle? How are these two angles related? Okay. The two angles have a sum of 90 degrees. Okay, 
Okay, just cleaning that up. There we go. The two angles have a sum of 90 degrees. Now it says write an equation. What equation could be used to solve for x? Now we're going to start using our two-part equations, our algebraic equations, to solve these. So I know that x degrees here plus this 57 degrees because the two angles add up to 90. So I can say x degrees plus 57 degrees equals 90 degrees. And it says, now let's solve. So in order to solve, we rewrite the problem. And this is, I want to solve for x. This is addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So I will subtract 57 from both sides of my equation. And x plus 57 minus 57 is 0. So x plus 0 is just x. And 90 minus 57 is 33 degrees. Okay, so the measure of this is 33 degrees. All right, example two. Michelle is designing a parking lot. She has determined that one of the angles should be 115 degrees. That is right here. What is the measure of the angles X and Y? How is angle X related to the 115 degree angle? Okay. And the two angles have a sum of... 180 degrees because this is a straight line. So if you see this straight line right here, see that straight line right there that I'm going to delete. Why am I showing you a straight line? Because if I come down here, that is right here, straight. It is an angle that is exactly 180 degrees. So these two angles add up to 180. This angle here plus this angle here makes this straight line. So I would say they add up to 180 degrees because they're a straight line. I'm not going to type all that, I'm saying it is adequate. Okay, they add up to 180 degrees. Now it says write an equation to that we would use to show this. X degrees plus 115 degrees equals 180 degrees. Getting x by itself, we do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. What we do to one side, we do to the other to keep the equation equal. 115 minus 115 is 0. x plus 0 is x. 180 minus 115 is 65 degrees. So x is 65 degrees. Okay. Now we could think of it the other way as well for y. How would you solve how would you solve this equation? Let's look. What equation would we use to show this? Okay, so I should have just had this here, and then I need to move this to the next page. Okay, so how would you solve this equation? I just moved what I did over to here. We would have I'm missing one minor piece. That is right here. So x plus 15, subtract 115, 115 minus 115 is 0, and x plus 0 is x. 180 minus 115 again, 65 degrees. So how is angle y related to the angle of measure 115? Okay. Angle y and angle 115, well, they make this straight line, so they also add up to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to copy this over the page. So that goes here. Angle Y and angle, how is angle Y related to the angle that measures 115? Angle Y and angle that measures 115 add up to 150 degrees. So example three, a beam of light is reflected off a mirror. Below is the diagram of the reflected beam. Determine the missing angle measure. How are the angles in this question related? What equation could we write to represent the situation? How would you solve Okay. So the way they word this, it makes you want to do all the work right here because it says determine the missing angle measure. Okay, so then you start working here, but then they're asking step-by-step -step questions to lead you up to how to do this. So it says, how are the angles in the question related? And I would say the 55-degree angle
x and 55 degrees. I'm trying to re figure out how to word this. Um, how about the three angles add up to 180 degrees because they form this straight line right here. So these three angles add up to 180 degrees. Now it says, what equation could we write to represent the situation? Well, I have a 55, I have an x, and I have a 55, and I really like to write my variables first. So I'd say x degrees plus 55 degrees plus 55 degrees equals 180 degrees. If you put 55 degrees plus x plus 55, that's also correct. But I just like putting my variables first. It's just more standard form is what we're being taught. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. Now I'm answering this question. How would I solve this? First thing I would do is combine everything on the left side that we can. So 55 plus 55 is 110. So the first thing I do is get down to two terms. So now I want to get x by itself. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 110 from both sides of the equation. 110 minus 110 is 0, leaving me with x equals 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. So this here is 70 degrees. Example 4. Angle ABC measures 90 degrees. It has been split into two angles, angle ABD and angle DBC. The measure of the two angles is in a ratio of 4 to 1 for the measures of each angle. Use a tape diagram to represent the ratio of 4 to 1. So I would say angle A, B, try that again, A, B, D, okay, are in a ratio of 4 to 1. So A, B, D, 2, D, B, C is 4, 2, 1. So if I did a tape diagram for A, B, D, that would be one, two, three, four squares. Just clean this up. So there's my tape diagram for ABD. Angle DBC is a ratio of one with respect to the four ABDs. So that is one square. And that is DBC. What is the measure of each angle? Okay, so we have five squares here, so we would say five units equals the total, which is 90 degrees, right here. So one unit equals 90 minus five, divided by five, which is 18 degrees. 90 divided by five, because so I divide five units by one, I'm sorry, divide five units by five, five divided by five is one. By 90 by 5, I get 18. So if one unit is 18, five of them is 90 because 18 times 5. Okay? So now that I know that one unit is 18, then what I want to know is what are four units equal to? Well, 18 times 4 is 72 degrees. If you check, 72 plus 18 is 90 degrees. So the measure of angle ABD equals. 72 degrees, the measure of angle D, B, C equals 18 degrees. It says, how can we represent this situation with an equation? Well, if we don't know the names of these or if we want to represent this as a variable, and I call all of these variables X, so I would say 4X, that's A, B, D, plus 1X, which is angle D, B, C, equals... 90 degrees. Now it says to solve the equation to determine the measure of each angle. So if I took 4x plus x equals 90 degrees, combine like terms on the left, I have x's and x's. 4x plus 1x is 5x equals 90 degrees. Divide both sides by 5 because division is the inverse of multiplication. Fives cancel, and I get x equals 90 divided by 5, which is 8.
Okay, so now there's an exercise. It's your turn. Pause the video, see if you can answer this question, and then unpause it, and we'll take a look at it. So here we go. Write and solve an equation in each of the problems. One, angle ABC measures 90 degrees. ABC, 90 degrees. It has been split into two angles, angle ABD and angle DBC. The measure of the two angles is in a ratio of 2 to 1. What are the measures of each angle? So when I don't know, I can say the ratio is my coefficient. So it's 2x and x. So I would say 2x plus x equals 90 degrees. Combine my like terms. 3x equals 90 degrees. Divide by 3 because it's the inverse of multiplication. The 3's cancel and x equals 30 degrees. Since x is 30, 2x has to be 60. So this is 60 degrees, and this is 30 degrees, and they do definitely add up to 90 degrees. Number two, solve for x. This is a straight line, so I'm going to just write it in order. So I'm going to say this angle here first, 64 degrees, plus this angle here, x degrees, plus this angle here, 37 degrees, equals a straight line, which is 135 degrees. So, I'm going to rearrange this. Okay, I suppose I should soak my degree symbols. So I just moved the x out front, and now I can combine my like terms. And I just keep the x there, and 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So I have x degrees plus 101 degrees equals 180 degrees. Subtract 101 because subtraction is the inverse of addition. Okay, and when I subtract those, these cancel and I get x equals 79 degrees. 79 degrees. Okay, number three. Candace is building a rectangular piece of a fence according to the plans her boss gave her. One of the angles is not labeled. Write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle. Okay, the key word here is rectangular. It is a rectangle, which means that that's 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. So now I know that 49 plus x adds up to 90 degrees. So I would say x degrees plus 49 degrees equals 90 degrees. I want to get x by itself, so I subtract because that's the inverse of addition. So to get rid of that 49 on the left, I have to subtract it. 49 minus 49 is 0. x plus 0 is x. 90 minus 49 is 51 degrees. So this is 51 degrees. Okay. Number 4. Rashad hit a hockey puck against the wall at 38 degree angle. Puck hit the wall, traveled in a new direction, determine the missing angle in the diagram. So he's standing here, and he shoots the puck, it hits the wall, and it reflect, deflects and goes over here. So it created two of these 38-degree angles, and this wall is a straight line or a straight angle. So therefore, 38 degrees plus x degrees plus 38 degrees equals 100. Rearrange this so that the numbers, the constants, are by themselves, or I should say together, so we can combine them. And now they're next to each other here, so I just bring down my x degrees. 38 plus 38 is 76. It's not supposed to be plus, that is supposed to be, not supposed to be equals, it is supposed to be plus. 180 degrees. Now I want to get x by itself. It's adding 76 being added to it, so the inverse of addition is subtraction. So let's get rid of that. That was a degree symbol, by the way. Get rid of that by subtracting, and we get x degrees equals 180 minus 76 is 104 degrees. 104. And number five. Jackson is creating a mosaic design on a rectangular table. He has added two pieces to one of the corners. The first piece has an angle measure of 38 degrees and is, uh, and is placed in the corner. The second piece has an angle measuring 27 degrees and is also placed in the corner. 
draw a diagram to model the situation. Then write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle in a third piece that could be added to the top of the table. So the key thing in geometry type problems is to draw the diagram of a model situation. Okay. So we have a rectangular table. So we're just going to zoom in on one of the corners. Here's the rectangular table. It's going to continue over here somewhere and up here. So here's our table. Okay. And we know that the corner is 90 degrees. Okay. It's creating a mosaic. Okay. Those are those little pieces that you come up, put together and glue on or use epoxy of some sort. He has added two pieces to one of the corners. The first piece has an angle of 38 degrees. Okay. So let's just say he's got a piece here. He put it right here and it's 38 degrees. Okay. The second piece has a measure of 27 degrees, so we could put another piece here okay, and call that 27 degrees. And it's also placed in the corner. Write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle in the third piece that could be added to the corner of the table. And that they didn't say, but let's just assume that it is going to complete the space of this corner. So now that I have this diagram, let me do this, okay, I would say that 38 degrees plus 27 degrees plus x degrees equals 90 degrees. Combine like terms, 8 plus 7 is 15, 3 plus 2 is 6 plus 1, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6, okay, let's try this again. Uh, erased way more than I wanted it to, so I put it back. So we're combining these like terms. 8 plus 7 is 15. 3 times plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Plus x degrees equals 90 degrees. Subtract 65. Subtract 65. And these cancel, and I'm left with x equals 25 degrees. So this is 25. Okay. That is the end of lesson 30. Your problem set.